Hey everyone, welcome, Major Frenchy here. Today I'm going to share my workflow, how I make those animated wheels using Adobe After Effects. Now, you may have seen a Nail Buster's video a few weeks ago on how to make these uh, very simply uh, using a software. I'm going to have the uh, link in the description below for his uh, video. Uh, you may want, you may, you will get some very good results. The reason I'm actually using After Effects, well, number one, uh, I'm a big fan. I've been using it for years and I own the software so I can use it. It allows you to add that extra little, you know, something that will make the wheels uh, a little, you know, better in my opinion, but uh, more work too. So let's just jump into the uh, how-to uh, using Adobe After Effects. The first thing I do in After Effects is I load my project file. This is my template. I'm going to share that with you guys. Uh, I open that up and it will load my wheel and the black background. The black background you can enable or disable if you click the little eye on the timeline you will notice that it toggles it on or off. I like black because I think it hides better and it blends better with the actual overall you know look in pinup popper. So if you do not use my template, uh, if you use your own wheel size, uh, it's important that you're going to go in your composition settings and that you set the size to 500 by 500. This will help uh, to be more consistent in the look of the wheel. We're going to make today a transformer wheel, animated wheel, and you got to look for media. Now, uh, looking for media, I just suggest look for something higher quality. It will make the result, the end result, much better. Uh, you can pick movies, you can pick GIFs, you can pick um, MP4s, name it. Uh, it's, you're going to be the judge of whatever you want to use. I'm just going to show you today how, a few ways to actually use a, a movie or a GIF inside your project. Little pro tip here, if you select the URL of the video you wish on YouTube, select it, just click your mouse right after the YouTube, put PP, hit enter, and it will bring you to Y2Mates where you can download the highest quality of the video for your project. So here's the media I found for the wheel project. So you can see I have two different GIFs. This one is actually kind of nice. Uh, and um, also I have this one, uh, which is the, I also have this one, which is the one I'm going to try first. I kind of like this. It zooms in and out. I like that. Also, uh, one thing that you will want to consider is the title. So the title, look for a transparent PNG background, guys. That's my tip to you. If you do not have a transparent, it's not available you can remove the background. I have uh, a tutorial on how to make animated image uh, from a couple of months ago. So you can check that or even use online tools to remove the background. But if you can find it, that's best. And then we're gonna use that in the project. So we're going to drag the GIF from the folder to the project structure. And then we're going to take it and drag it on the timeline. So you can put it anywhere, but you'll see that it's like Photoshop. It's layer based. So if you take it and drag it, let's say above, uh, then you will see now it fits within the wheel. Now we're going to just resize it to fit in the wheel. And that's why I, in this case, I want like a black background because matches my GIF, right? Otherwise you would see the black side. So uh, now you can see on the right side, which is the timeline, it, it lasts two seconds. So the GIF uh, will loop after two seconds. So we keep that in mind. Uh, now, if you got longer uh, animation, I would suggest you stick to maximum of like five seconds. Otherwise it will be too big. And it's only a wheel, you know, it's not a movie, really. You want something like to be, a, you know, quick. Now, I don't know if you've noticed at the bottom here, it's kind of cut out, right? Uh, not a whole lot we can do. It's just the way the GIF is. And I've, I've checked the uh, actually movie on YouTube. It's the same. 
but no big deal because we're going to hide this with the title of the uh, actual um, transformer. So that should fix that issue. So now let's just uh, import the uh, logo. So we're going to put it at the top of the uh, timeline. So it's on top of everything else. And we're just going to resize it by dragging the window. Usually, typically, I try to make it the width of the wheel, you know, plus and minus. And uh, we're going to drag it at the bottom just so we kind of hide that black frame that's missing at the bottom. See, right now it actually looks pretty good. So let's give it a preview. Okay, I'm satisfied with this result. So uh, the only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to make some fancy animation with the logo, Transformers logo. Uh, we got to make the white line kind of go across. Um, so I'm going to delete the, uh, the file. I'm going to go back in my folder here. I'm going to copy the, um, the logo, the PNG logo, and I'm going to load up Windows here. And uh, there's actually a cool software called Image to GIF. Uh, and I'm going to paste that in the folder uh, of image to GIF. I'm going to have the link in the description below too, so you can download this tool. I'm going to load it up. And then this is from the folks at Pinball X. Um, thank you very much for this. And if you go on the website, there's a tutorial for how to achieve multiple effects. So you play with the colors and so on. So uh, again, the link is in the description below. You're going to double click on the left icon here. And uh, you're going to select your icon or your logo that you wish. We're going to select Transformers. And here on the left, uh, you're going to set zero to each different values. The RGB, uh, you're going to set that to zero. And then on the right, you're going to set them to 255. Now you also have the, um, you can see that's the effect. The overlay style is the effect. We're going to go with Stripe. And then the little, the color are actually the, the color of the effect. And then you click animate. And sometimes it takes, you know, up to, depending on how big your, your file is, it can be like a minute. Look how uh, now we've got the white effect stripe going across. We're just going to save it. It's going to save this as a GIF. Uh, you can also, there's a APNG output option. But for our purpose here, we're going to use GIF. And then you can see, you can try different effects. This is the cloud effect. Uh, the cloud effect I kind of like too. It uh, gives like a nice foggy look. Uh, be good for like a, a game like the fog, for example, right? That'd be, that'd be cool. So uh, there you go. So anyway, you got a few one you can try, but we're going to stick with the uh, stripe. Back in After Effects, we're going to import our GIF now, and uh, we're going to select it and resize it to the position that we want. And just hit the space bar. That should give us an instant preview of what this will look like. Oh, I like this. Once you're satisfied with the effect, uh, now it's time to export. So we're going to click the file and export and add to render queue and here you're going to click on the lossless blue icon here and we're going to select the format is going to be png sequence and then the channel is going to be the drop down rgb plus alpha click ok and then you're going to be the export output too uh, you're going to select this and you basically select the area or the folder where you want this to export. Typically, I create a folder called sequence in the uh, folder of my animation. Uh, the name, uh, well, for the, it says output. Typically, I just remove the underscore and uh, just hit save. And then you'll see it will have uh, an output sequence of output one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Click the uh, render button at the right, and that will create all the uh, different frames for this animation. Now, if we check our sequence folder, look, we have quite a bit actually there. I think there's 40 images that are found within our folder. 
Now there's more than one way to skin a cat. Uh, I'm just going to show you, a, like I, I believe, which is the easiest one. It's a website called easygift.com. It's great. Um, you're going to click the choose files and then just select all the sequence uh, from within your folder and click open. So control A and click open. And this will do up to 2000 files or 100 megabyte. We'll never reach that for the size of our wheels. Uh, so we're going to click upload and it will generate the uh, APNG for us. And here you can see the image sequence and uh, you will basically select uh, from number one to your last one here. So we have 40. So just put the uh, range right here in that box. So from one to 40 and just click basically make APNG. Click that button. So a few seconds after you will see the result on the screen here. Um, it's very simple. The only thing now we need to do is to click the save button and save it on our computer. One very important step, uh, I don't know why the software doesn't do it, but you will need to add the A in front of the PNG. Uh, use the APNG extension. So that's just otherwise it will not work. So that's one extra thing you need to do. Then we're going to right click open preview with uh, any browser. So APNG can be previewed in a browser. There's our effect there for the APNG. Now we're going to go back in the software and then we're going to save it as a GIF. So which is real easy. Just one click of a button. And the GIF is just to, well, number one, people uh, that are using something else than Pinup Popper may not have the compatibility of with APNG. Uh, and number two, for the preview in Discord, then we need the actual GIF because otherwise you will not get uh, a preview and it kind of sucks, right? So we'll go to Discord in the wheel animated section. Uh, we're just going to drop off the uh, animation, like the GIF first. And then we are just going to, there you go. So now we got the GIF and then we're just going to drop the uh, APNG as well and uh, as, add this as an attachment. I just wanted to show you an extra tip for a movie. Uh, so when the movie obviously will go outside the wheel. How do we make it fit in the wheel? So I'm going to show you the trick here. I'm just going to extend the um, actual timeline to six seconds. So we're just going to play that little sequence here, right? Uh, just just for showing purposes. So uh, what you need to do is, well, you just center your movie uh, and then you just look at the frame animation as to, you know, within the six seconds. Is that what you want? Once you're happy, you select the uh, actual, the layer has to be selected and you click the mask option there. At the, it's the ellipse. And then you're gonna actually draw a little ellipse, a circle, basically a mask inside that will only reveal the area of the movie that you're selecting. So I'm using the arrow just to move it back. Just like so. And uh, we're just going to click the selection. And then now you can see that you have all the uh, corners selected. You can resize the mask to fit inside your wheel properly. And uh, then you can also click on each little dot and move it separately to make it even fit better. And let's hit space and have a preview. See? Now, of course, the, you can see the black. It's not sized properly, but that's what the mask does. It, and here's what they look in our front end, pinup hopper. Uh, some people are saying, yeah, it doesn't show. You need to update to the latest version of pinup hopper uh, to support animated PNG. So here's a couple of previews here.
Thanks for watching and come and see us on the Discord.